This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code Adjuster TV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. All right, very first step to becoming an adjuster. The very, very, very first step is to decide if this is for you or not. Don't spend a single penny on anything. Don't, get, don't go buy licenses, don't pay for, don't buy, start buying gear, right? Which is, I mean, as a, as a guy, you know, I can speak for, I think I can speak for guys. We like gear, we like gadgets, you know. Um, don't start doing that stuff until you have decided that you are all in on becoming an independent property field adjuster. And it's really gonna be like the, sort of the entree into this field is field adjusting and, and mainly catastrophe, right? Um, so how do you do that, right? So how do you just say, well, I mean, I'm, I, I hear this great money. I've heard, heard descriptions about this work. Um, how can I truly make that decision, make that an informed decision, make it a decision that satisfies myself, right? And then maybe that satisfies other people that are that have questions about it, like perhaps your spouse, right? Or people, other people in your family who are like, well, what, tell do you, are you really sure you want to do this work? You know, what have you, what, where did you get your information about it? Well, the internet. Okay, well, that doesn't sound very reliable, right? My best advice to you, and I think, I think the first step that anybody should do if they're considering becoming an independent field property adjuster is to do a job shadow, right? This is commonly called a ride along, um, but it's whatever you want to call it. I think the thing that you can't call it is training. Right, because it's just briefly, when you go right along with, with an adjuster who's working, those adjusters are getting paid by the claim, right? So they have an incentive to be efficient and, and get as much work done during the day and, and in the evening as, as possible. And if you're along and you're expecting that this adjuster is going to like show you how to use Xactimate or show you how to, they may show you how to scope a house by having you just follow follow behind them and maybe carry their ladder and like help them pull the other end of the tape or whatever. But it's not really going to classify as um, training per se. And you can't put it on your resume and say, I did it right along with Bubba, right? It's who, who's Bubba, right? I don't know if Bubba knows what he's, he's even doing, right? And that's, that's one of the risks that's involved with doing ride alongs and thinking that it's training is that the person that you're who's training you, right, or you think is training you may not be teaching you the right stuff. They may be teaching you bad habits that they learned from the previous Bubba, right, and they never were calibrated on it or never told that they were doing the wrong thing, which is common in this industry. And I place a lot of the blame for the sort of the, the training gap and the variable training quality that we have in this industry and the people that come into the industry who are working in the industry on the firms and carriers are not doing more to, to develop adjusters. And I think that there are a lot of them are doing good work on this, but it's still a problem, right? Um, people need to be able to know that they've messed up and how, how they should fix it and how they, uh, the, what the work is supposed to look like. But getting back to the job shadow, I call it a job shadow because I think that's really what it is. Um, do not, step one, do not go on social media and say, hey, I'm a uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking to become an adjuster and I, I want to do a ride along with anybody in the Atlanta, Georgia area or anybody in the Spearfish, South Dakota area or anybody in the wherever area, right? Maybe it's December or January and nobody's really working, right? Um, and also, uh, maybe it's July or May or June or September and you live in Denver and all the storms are in Florida or all the storms are in Texas, right? And you just, you're going to sit there your little post on social media is gonna get you, sit there for a little while, nobody's gonna say anything, and then you're gonna get a bunch of trolls like tearing you to pieces, right? This is what you should do instead. And this is this is really the way, I think, to help you make the most informed decision about whether claims is right for you or not, which again is the first step, like we said, to becoming a property cat field adjuster, and that is to see the lifestyle, right? So in other words, what I would do if I was gonna do a job shadow and I really wanted to see what this work was actually like, is I would say, I would post up on social media, hey, I'm interested in learning more about becoming a, 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 field adjust, a property field adjuster um, and I wanna see what it's like. Um, I'm willing to travel anywhere in the lower 48 
continental United States. And just to, to shadow you, just to kind of be like a fly on the wall and watch you work. I'll buy you lunch and dinner. Uh, we'll carry your ladder, anything else that you need, or hold the other end of your tape, anything that you need help with. Other than that, I'm gonna stay out of your way. That's, that's what I would say. Willing to travel anywhere in the country, pay my own bills, do not pay me. I'll pay you in the form of food, right? Pay, maybe pay, buy a, a gas tank, a tank of gas or two or whatever. Because your objective is to go see the lifestyle. And you're gonna stay in your own hotel room, right? You're not gonna sleep on anybody's floor. Putting yourself, you know, as on to somebody else to like look after you. Because the lifestyle is you go and you get your own hotel room. It, it is you get in your car with your bag of stuff appropriate clothing, no jeans, right? No tennis shoes, khaki pants, golf shirt, and you and you drive halfway across the country, right? And you and you pay for fuel and you get a hotel, you get a Motel 6 or whatever. I don't recommend anybody sleep in their car because I think it's dangerous. This is the lifestyle, right? You're in your car, you're driving across the country, you're listening to podcasts, right? This is what we do, right? And then you're you know you're not gonna make it all the way that, that day and you stop at a reasonable hour, get a Motel 6, um, and then get up first thing in the morning and drive back into your destination, meet up with the, with the person that you're gonna job shadow with and maybe ride around the back seat with them. As they're driving around, you can watch them be on the phone, you can watch them you know, do all the things that adjusters do um, and stay out of their way, right? Help them with stuff if they need it, buy them lunch, maybe you know, bring a cooler or whatever, and, uh, but you, you're, you're not gonna be there to learn. You're not to learn how to do the, to the actual work itself, to be trained on the work. So that's, that's my advice for you, is the very, very first step is to be aggressive about it, right? Um, say, listen, I will, you know, because th th there are thousands of adjusters working definitely through the summer, but even over the winter time, um, put put the, the the bat signal out there and say, I want to um, learn more about what it's like to be an adjuster, and I'm willing to travel wherever you're at, and then I'm absolutely willing to completely stay out of your hair. Um, but I, you know, whatever we want to work out. Um, if I, if you want me to pay you hundred dollars a day, right, instead of buying you steak dinners or whatever, that's fine. I'll get my own hotel room and I'll be there for three days and then I'm gone, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask you to let me write your estimates because I have a level one certification. Do not do that. It's, no one's gonna say yes to that. Um, I'm not gonna ask you to that I'll go around and scope the houses for you to to help you or whatever. I'm only there to observe and just to say. Yep, this is pretty cool. I like this. I, you know, I, I like the hours. It's the the sixteen hour day, right? We spent the whole day out in the field, and then we spent the whole next day out in the field, right? And staying in a hotel, so on and so forth. I'm all in, right? Because that's that's the job, right? Or, you know what? I don't think I think I can make six figures, or I can make really good money um, doing something that's not this big of a pain in the rear end. Maybe you decide that, right? But this is the, the key decision-making point is seeing what this work is really all about and not just like in an abstract way on YouTube, right? Or even going to like trainings and things like that where they show you how to be an adjuster. They're not showing you what it's like to be an adjuster, right? You, you, the only way you can do that is to experience that yourself. I could talk about it all day long, um, but the truth of the matter is, is that you really need to get out there and experience it for yourself, and that is in the form of a job shadow. And I think that that is, before you spend any other money, you need to spend some time and a little bit of your own money driving someplace to, to shadow an adjuster for two to three days. And then I'm, and then I'm, that's, that should be more than enough to help you make a decision about it. Take that person out to dinner at night and ask them questions then, right? Over nice steak dinner or whatever it is that they want to eat, pizza. I mean, hey, I love pizza. Um, and then that way you make an informed decision about whether or not you're all in on this or it's not for you. And that's what I think is really the first step in becoming an adjuster. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.